Have you ever heard of courses from leading universities from around the world that can be taken by anyone with no entry requirements, that are usually for free, you can sign up without paying anything, that allow participation at any time, at your convenience, the middle of the night, early in the morning, that you can drop in and drop out with no penalties? Well, these are what we term MOOCs or Massive Open Online Courses. I'm Janet Small and I work at UCT's Centre for Innovation and Learning and Teaching. Instead of talking about the MOOCs in detail though, I'm going to invite a couple of learners who've taken MOOCs to tell us about their experiences. Damiana told us about how she'd used free online courses to prepare for coming to university. I have taken throughout my entire life career um, two uh, MOOC courses. One was for improving my English and the other was um, UCT's disability uh, MOOC course, Education for All. It did kind of expose me and make me more aware to um, what it's like to be in a disability and especially now that uh, I'm, I'm taking medical anthropology, I kind of found the right balance and I kind of like established you know these struggles that disabled people go through every day. James wanted to change his field of study. How MOOCs have impacted my life is, is, is essentially by allowing me access to, to fields of study which I wouldn't have access to before. And with the knowledge that I've gained, I have been accepted into a scientific degree where I will now use these skills which I've gained. Kanye Sile uh, just loved MOOCs because they allowed her to re-watch lectures. It was so great in the sense that I didn't have to write notes if I missed it because I could always go back to it if I needed to. Aside from the traditional student audiences, we heard from people who loved MOOCs because it opened up access to educational opportunities. We made contact with a remarkable man from Johannesburg. As a blind person, sometimes study opportunities are a lot more difficult to obtain accessible material in many ways because of the logistics of, and the lack of material for disabled people. No longer able to participate in UCT summer school because of decreased mobility. A retired pensioner has been taking MOOCs avidly. Well, one day I was complaining to my daughter that I couldn't go to, to summer school anymore and I miss it badly. So Janice said to me, well, what about MOOCs? So you choose like a summer school course that you enjoy. So I found I can just do it in my own computer, in my lounge, when I feel like it. So I feel I'm getting the best of both worlds. And finally, we spoke to Ebba, who's an academic from Sweden. So taking books is very much about lifelong learning. And I will say it is also very important because um, two books you can uh, continue your professional development. There are many questions about whether MOOCs can be useful in a South African context. And we had two very interesting interviews with learners who've made use of MOOCs for their professional development. Firstly, Alison from Hoodsbrett is an occupational therapist based at a rural hospital. The people who've been involved in the course is a number of therapists. Um, we work at a small district hospital in a rural area. We haven't felt pressurised in terms of time and are just doing it in our own time. So we appreciate the fact that the material is actually left on the web even though the course is finished. Nosi Fundo is based in Port Elizabeth and she's a nurse educator and she had an interesting story to tell about her experience. I've been one of the students that were studying with Future Len. Uh, through University of Cape Town. I've just completed a course on education for all. And this has been my fifth course that I have managed to Google through the internet. And the device that I have used is my cell phone because I do not have a laptop. And I also ordered my certificate. As you can hear from these accounts, there are so many opportunities of learning through these free online courses. We really invite you to find the device, go online, browse and make a click. You'll start learning and I think you won't look back.